This is Logan W. 1997, back at it again, and today we will be discussing the Amityville Horror and a woman by the name of Geraldine Gates. How does Geraldine get involved with the Amityville Horror case? Well, today we will be jumping right into that. In 1985, a woman by the name of Geraldine Gates contacted Ronnie Butch DeFeo while he was in prison. They started writing many letters back and forth to, with each other and would eventually meet. In 1986, Ronnie Butch DeFeo and Geraldine Gates was part of a Newsday interview where they claimed that they met each other in 1973 at a bar in New York City. After this, they went on and started dating and they claimed that they even married and was married at the time of the Amityville murders. Now, if you're not familiar with the Amityville murders or the Amityville story at all, I'll give the basics. Ronnie Butch DeFeo, convicted Amityville murderer, was 23 years old on November 13, 1974, when he shot and killed his mom, dad, two sisters, two brothers, in their house on Long Island. At the time, it was 112 Ocean Avenue. The address has since been changed to trick tourists from trying to visit the home. Now, in 1989, Geraldine was questioned about this again. When did you meet Ronnie DeFeo? Her claims was that they actually met in 1971 at a bar in New York City. Then another lie later on was that they met in 1969 at a bar. So she's given three different times and dates for when she met Ronnie DeFeo at a bar. Now, her and Ronnie came up with a whole story to try to basically get Ronnie DeFeo out of prison and so that she could profit and make money. Now, their story about them getting married uh, in the 1970s, as far as I'm concerned, is a complete fabrication created by Geraldine Gates and Ronnie DeFeo. They even claimed they had a daughter named Stephanie DeFeo together. Now, Stephanie's real name is Stephanie Marie Panazzi. She was born in, in 1974, I do believe. Now, basically, in the year 2000, a guy by the name of Rick Osuna would be in touch with Geraldine Gates and they would go on to create a book titled The Night the DeFeos Died. And this book is basically trying to say the way the murders happened that night uh, did not happen the way that we have always been told. Uh, they went on and made a three series documentary uh, by Ryan Kassenbach titled Shattered Hopes. Now, Geraldine Gates' story is that they married and were married before the murders and that basically Ryan DeFeo lived in an abusive household and at the time he was living with her in her house and they had a daughter together at the time and that uh, his dad came and got him on the day before the murders and he went, he went home uh, because of a very bad argument between Don and the father and what whatever. I, I basically she's trying to say that the way that the murders actually happened was that Don DeFeo, who was 18 years old at the time when she was murdered by Ronald DeFeo, her brother, um, she's basically trying to say that she was part of this crime. She's saying that Don really wanted out of the house and she had a boyfriend in Florida and she really wanted to leave and that Mr. DeFeo Senior would not allow this, he didn't approve of this, uh, and that he was very strict, and they just didn't get along. 
So she's saying that there's a motive for Don to be part of this crime. Now, I have documents and facts on Geraldine Gates, and I will be showing these in this video, and I'd like to know what you guys think. I have Stephanie, her daughter's birth certificate. I have marriage certificates. I have court letters, court statements. So let's get right into that. All right, guys, so this is a marriage certificate between Ronnie DeFeo and Geraldine Gates. Date of marriage, July 5th, 1989. Now, guys, Geraldine's claim and Rick Osuna's claim is that her family had mob ties and that the mafia basically got rid of the original marriage certificate and... She's basically saying we were actually married before July 5th, 1989. Now, her son, Peter Panazzi, has came forward and it was on the Ed Operman podcast, which you can check out here on YouTube, and practically admits that his mother is a complete lying fraud. And at the time, he claims that they were at, he, he was actually his father, Joseph Pisani was married to her in 1972. So they were married in 1972, and here is their marriage certificate. 1972. And uh, there you go. Name of father, Joseph Pisani. Here's more paperwork on them. Virginia U.S. marriage records. And here's some paperwork from 1973 regarding Joseph Pisani. And Gerald Dean. So. That's the year she originally claimed the news day that her and Ronnie DeFeo met. But she would have been married at the time that they supposedly met. Alright guys, now this is her daughter Stephanie's birth certificate. This is a letter from Hans Holzer. Basically, Geraldine Gates reached out to Hans Holzer, basically just to get money and to see if she could profit in any type of way from being the wife of Ronnie. Just, wow. Alright, this is a statement by Geraldine Gates. I wish to state at this time that I have never been married to Ronald DeFeo. I have been married to Gerald II Gates since 1978. Prior to that, I was married to Joseph Pisani since April of 1974. 
Joseph Bazzani was... Okay, guys, so basically, she's basically admitting that she was never married to Ronnie DeFeo during this time. See, 1978, so. Now, this is the last one that I found. This is from September 5th, 2003. So, in the book, The Night the DeFeos Died, Mrs. Gates stated that I, Lynn Nonwitz, met her at John DeFeo's communion party, which is not true. I first met Mrs. Gates in 1985. Mrs. Gates told me from 1985 until 2002 she was married to Ronald DeFeo. And also that her daughter, Stephanie, was Ronald DeFeo's daughter. I truly hope this will help to clear up some of the lies that were told in the book, The Night the DeFeo's Died. And I hope I said that right. So there you go, guys. That's uh, the information that I found on Geraldine Gates. And remember, guys, her son, Peter Panazzi, has came forward, her own son, and has admitted that her and Rick Osuna's stories from the night that the Feos died is all nothing but lies. I mean, I mean, this is pretty crazy. Rick Osuna, Ryan Kassenbach, Geraldine Gates are all scam artists. For years, these people have claimed an Amityville horror hoax. They've tried to bring Don, Ronnie's sister, into this. I mean, it's just, it's crazy, this whole story, that this woman that married this man while he was in prison, I mean, this woman, what what's wrong with her? I mean, something seriously wrong in her mind. I mean, I, I don't, I don't understand Like, like why? Like, I mean, I know she didn't just do this for fun. I mean, come on, guys. There was moolah involved with this. At the end of the day, Geraldine Gates, Rick Osuna, all these people, they just want clout. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and some of the information that I shared with you regarding Geraldine Gates. Don't go and buy Rick Osuna's book. And don't waste your time watching a documentary series unless you want to laugh. It's all fake, guys. Until next time, stay safe, and we'll see you.